the waters all along the west coast of Greenland were cool right up until 1997. Suddenly the waters on this coast and in this fjord had suddenly jumped and it's been warm ever since. And since 1997, the glacier has retreated significantly due primarily to warming ocean waters. The ocean seems to be in control of this 20 year retreat. Something caused the waters around Greenland to warm up quickly, even faster than the Earth's oceans as a whole. And while scientists are still debating why it happened, David Holland and others think it was a shift in a big current called the Gulf Stream that brings warm water up from the south. Generally, it carries warm water from the United States towards Europe, the bulk of it. In 1997, a major piece of it headed off towards Greenland. The result was a rise in water temperature of about a degree. You'd barely notice that in the air outside, but here in Greenland's waters, it matters a lot. Scientists are still working out how much of a role climate change played in this ocean warming, but one thing is for sure. Warmer waters melt Jakobshavn from below, leading to its rapid retreat. And it's not just Jakobshavn in Greenland. What's far more important is the exact analog of this is going on right now in Antarctica, where the stakes are much higher. Because there's a lot more ice there. And the same process could lead to major sea level change. The Jakobshavn glacier ice that's flowing into the fjord used to sit on land. That's why it's adding to rising global sea levels as it melts and falls into the ocean. But sea base ice across the Arctic is also in decline. And the impacts of changing glaciers and ice cover are already being felt. 